the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Paul said wherever he went, he did not neglect to mention those themes. The death was vicarious. He died for your sins. He died for my sins. I choose to appropriate the propitiation he made. Nobody else could ever, ever do it. And he didn't have to do it himself, but he voluntarily, as an incarnation full of complete divinity, he chose to die for my sins. Now, the burial is something you don't hear much about because nobody really likes the idea of a dead body. It doesn't go for a walk. It doesn't play video games. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't eat its favorite food or drink its favorite coffee. It doesn't, it doesn't have any more connection with this world. Well, the Bible says we actually identify with Christ in burial at the time of baptism. We're under, we're dead, we're Lazarus all over again. We're ditto, Lazarus was dead. You and I in Christ to this world, we're dead. We're crucified to the world and the world unto us. It's over, done with. Now the resurrection, wahoo! You might be thinking, I've got my resurrection. Now I can live the full life that God intended me to live. Let's go back to the Bible. The resurrection is physical. Yes, you are a new creature in Christ. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. But you're probably going to die a physical death. Lazarus, who was raised from the dead, died again. The widow woman's son from Nain, Jesus raised him from the dead. He died again. It was Peter who raised uh, Tabitha. She died again. Even in the Old Testament, the man that they threw on top of the bones of Elijah, and he came back to life. I promise you, he died again. There is only one person who has come back to life in a permanent glorified state. He's the first fruits of the resurrection. His name is Jesus. He's the only one. The only one. Enoch didn't do it. Uh, Jesus is the only one who has eternally risen in glorified form from the dead. So what about the resurrection? Am I resurrected? I'm going to be, and so are you. There is a bodily resurrection for every single person who's ever lived and died and will in the future. There's a time when we will be bodily resurrected again. So think about it. If you haven't chosen for Jesus, then you could be in one of the resurrections described in, Jan, in uh, Daniel in 12, 2. He said, many that sleep in the dust of the earth sh uh, shall awake, some unto everlasting life, but others unto shame and everlasting contempt. There's a resurrection of the damned as well. My exhortation to you this morning, <laughs> go with Jesus.